Drive Away Dolls, supposedly the original title as revealed at the end of the film was supposed to be Drive Away Dykes. A uh, new film from Ethan Cohen, uh, one half of the Cohen Brothers uh, duo which split up several years ago, starring Margaret Qualley, Geraldine Viswanathan and Beanie Feldstein. Uh, it's a lesbian road trip comedy that tries very hard to emulate elements of such movies like Fargo and The Big Lebowski, but unfortunately comes nowhere close in terms of actual quality. The premise is this. It's 1999. Two young lesbian friends, Jamie and Marion, decide for completely separate and independent reasons to leave Philadelphia and go to Florida. They rent out a car that that later it turns out that the car rental owner uh, makes a mistake and gives them a car that contains a very valuable briefcase that some intimidating gentlemen now want to get back. Which leads to eventual trouble as the sort of light-hearted lesbian road trip adventure clashes into the criminal side of things. So, as I said earlier, unfortunately the single Coen brother endeavor does not in this case live up to the quality um, of the works of both brothers together. It's not even it's not even that the premise or the concept is bad, uh, it's just something in the execution. Something just doesn't sing about this film. There's, there's something missing in almost every aspect of it. Um, the jokes don't quite land, the comedic timing is off, the pacing is strange. I mean, it's an 84 minute long movie, which is very short, but it feels like it's twice as much. The criminal plot is too stupid to be taken seriously but not absurd enough to be really funny. Uh, there are inexplicable psychedelic sequences uh, set to Maggot Brain and some other songs sprinkled in every once in a while uh, that bring pretty much nothing to the table and just slow the story down. The characters are undercooked. Like It's like we have these two polar opposites um, as the emotional core of the film who we are told are good friends but never really see why they would be. Um, they seem to annoy each other all the time. There's nothing that would explain the relationship when the movie starts. Um, the cameos of Pedro Pascal, Matt Damon, and Miley Cyrus feel pretty distracting as they're just extremely short scenes and it could literally have been anyone else. Uh, there were individual moments, I admit, which made me laugh, but on the whole, I felt the film is just a, a bunch of nothing. Uh, and I have seen movies which were a bunch of nothing, like the aforementioned Big Lebowski, but they still managed to be very entertaining through characters, through dialogue, through humor. This one doesn't. Um, I'm afraid it's quite a disappointment.